the Environmental Association for Universities and Colleges. Uh, we're a UK-wide organisation. Uh, we have we're a membership organisation. We have about 350 universities and colleges that belong to us. Um, and essentially, we exist to provide advice and guidance on embedding sustainability, social responsibility practices, good environmental management into all aspects of a university or a college's operations. Twenty originally signed it. Within six months, we had uh, we had forty within six months, and now we have. So we're two and a half years down the line. We now have sixty out of the sixty-three, and in fact, those last three are about to merge into one super college. So we actually, by the end of twenty eleven, we'll have one hundred percent of the Scottish sector will have voluntarily signed this. That's a really big thing for us. Is that. Um, you know, we gave the sector a framework and they actually bought into it. I mean, it was, we had to, it wasn't quite as easy as just walking up and knocking on the door and saying, look, please sign this. We did have to, we did have to sell it to them. We had to say, we had to demonstrate its value uh, because at the time it was competing with so many other um, concepts and initiatives. But clearly it was one that uh, institutions were responding to and they liked the idea. It took a wee bit of pressure off them. It also allowed them to, once they've sort of focused, you know, the key, the longer term objective is that once they focus on those sort of key areas, well, actually, the ambition is that those key areas, then they, they, they take care of themselves. Once you've got your estates management in order, when you've got your campus sorted, um, and you've got the right people managing that, it means that then senior management and uh, the academic community and schools and faculties, etc., they can begin to focus on what they really should be focusing on, which is their core activity, learning, teaching, research, student engagement, employability skills, graduate skills, community engagement, etc. You know, we found we had senior management teams who were properly worrying about whether they were turning the lights off at night. And really, you know, your president and their senior management team that really shouldn't be on their agenda at all. What they should be worrying about is how they demonstrate their social responsibility, their core objectives as an institution, with the reason they exist. And so far, anecdotal evidence has demonstrated that um, that, that you know that's the case. And in fact, we actually have more than that. We have actually have proper hard facts to demonstrate. Uh, for example, Adam Smith College, which is in Fife, the Kingdom of Fife, just north of Edinburgh. They implemented the Climate Change Action Plan. They came up with a pretty robust carbon management strategy. They, uh, in their first year, saved £100,000 on their energy costs. And because of that, that meant the senior management team were quite comfortable with what was happening. They don't worry about that now. They don't worry about it at all. So, you know, it is, it is starting to, to, to prove worthwhile. Well, we knew it was going to be worthwhile anyway, but now we're actually seeing some evidence that it is worthwhile. Of the 60 that have signed, they're in various stages. The 20 now, the 20 original signatories are well into sort of the first 18 months of their delivering their climate change action plans. The rest are sort of in various stages, etc. And where we are as an organisation is we now, as well as providing them with the support, um, advice and guidance and steering them in the right direction, etc., then we also are providing them with developing a way in which they can report against their performance. And I would say certainly the UCCC FS has, you know, it clearly has the ACU PCC at its foundation. There's certainly plenty more that we can learn from what the ACU PCC is uh, doing. Likewise, I would like to think that there's plenty that we are doing that we could share with ACU PCC secondaries as well. I'm really, really interested in finding out how we do that. I've certainly got a few ideas. I know colleagues in the UK have a lot of ideas, and I dare say your own signatories have a lot of ideas. I'm looking forward to those discussions, but certainly I would like to see um, much more synergy in our activities. What that looks like, we'll, we'll wait and see. Hopefully in 12 months I'll be, I can tell you.